All right, so we're going to go through a few of these. Probably got about 10 here. BET is different than the Grammys. It's more music oriented, but they do have things like film and um, mm. like video production and stuff like that. So we're just going to hit on the stuff that we really want to talk about, mainly just music. And we're going to start here with best female R&B and pop. Now, who are you picking? Best. Because oh, I think I it only, I, I think that uh, Beyonce, I Beyonce, think Beyonce, gonna, Beyonce is going to smack the shit out of everybody on this list. Just I off think, of Beehive yeah. and Dick Riding alone. I think that That's it has to go to say. Beyonce here. Beyonce has had Renaissance, which, I mean, the, it, it, she's on tour right now, an international tour, for one album, bro. She's on a fucking international tour. I'm going to re-edit it. <laughs> I'm going to repeat it. She's on an international tour for one album. Now, I feel bad for Susan because them all tickets the no- is thousands of dollars. I, I swear. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, people still paying for them, though. The worst t- I them. swear the worst tickets got to be hundreds of dollars. At least... At least Two, three hundred dollars. No, please. I, I swear. I just feel so bad for SZA because everything that she's nominated in, she's nominated with Beyonce. And she's not going to be. Be- SZA is not. SOS is not beating Beyonce. It's not happening. And it was a fine album. I didn't particularly like it that much personally. I didn't think it was that good. Uh, Control was just so much better. It's just, oh my God, bro. It doesn't even compare. But, you know, I just feel bad because it's, it's a good album and everybody loved it. You know, it's making a lot of charts. She's probably going to get some Grammy nominations in there, you know, starting with BET. It's just, how can you go? How can you be Beyonce? I don't know. I just don't think it's going to happen. What do you think about best male R&B? Best male R&B? Probably Usher. Now, Usher had a big year. Usher had a big year. I don't think it was for music, though. Um, But I think they just put him in there just because he's been in the limelight right now. You know, he's doing his Las Vegas thing. He's been cutting up a rug in Las Vegas. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) With them roller skates. (laughs) I, I think forgot he had like what do they call that when they they just like they have like a fixed show there they do all like every weekend or every whatever every every couple. What weeks do you mean? I thought you, uh, didn't we talk about how Usher has like a Elvis had it too where it's like a a residency. It's almost like you have a residency. I think that's what it's called. Like you have a contract. Like you just do yeah, Vegas yeah, yeah. shows. Mm-hmm. Like you just there and they pay you a whole bunch of money to just entertain tourists who come whenever they come. Basically, yeah, yeah that's what he's been doing. But I don't mm. think it's off of any new music, though. I think he probably released, like, a single or two. But I don't think he put out an album. Somebody has to correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think he put out an album. Yeah. I think Brent's going to get this, though. Brent, I, I'm looking I at the guess. nominees, bro. Drake. <laughs> like, I think he's always going to get nominated just because he's Drake. But, like, he's not winning that. Even though he put out a lot of music in the last year, bro. He put out three albums in the last Which is ridiculous. In the last year, dog. Well, I don't know. Them albums was was a hype. That's to you. I love me some Drake. Now that, so uh, that that uh, dance hall type house album, that shit was on point. Honestly, never mind. Was on yeah. point. Um, yeah. And that was Chris Brown. I, Chris Brown's not getting it. I'm sorry, he's just not gonna get it. The weekend. Um, if this was for the idol, maybe he might get it. <laughs> now I might. Happen. Now I might have to watch episode one of that garbage. of the I idol because I'm curious because everybody's like posting all these scenes. It thought might just have some like really fucked up wild sex scenes because it's the dude who made Euphoria. Yeah. Now he really gets to unleash. I can't. Really I can't did. watch it. I'm not watching that shit. People were saying like it's so weird and awkward trying to watch the weekend have sex appeal. He was That's like talking about up. like spread that pussy open. Ooh, spread that oh. tight pussy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna watch the weekend talk like that. Sorry, Abel. Uh, let's move on to best group. I have Drake and Twenty One Savage as a clear winner here. Best group. Yep. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Uh. I think I mean, it's who probably. Else could you say? Uh, Quavo and Takeoff, they could just give the sympathy award. You know, award shows do do that. They might give it to Takeoff. I think it's between Drake and Twenty One and Takeoff for sure. Drake at Twenty One, her loss. Woo. Yeah, Drake has Drake has the most pull in this list for sure. I mean, goddamn. Because I don't even think they even really care. I think they do listen to the music, but I think a lot of times these awards are really just pull and who you know and who has. I think they're awards. fans. I think they said that this it's like fans that are not, uh, not nominating them but are voting for them. I think it's a fan awards. Interesting. Okay. And then maybe they have like a BET union that comes together and they vote. But I think the most pull comes from the the fans. Probably going to be Drake then. I think it would be Drake and 21. 21 Savage. I was happy to see that Flo got a nomination. Flo is mm. up and coming group. I know one of our friends will be very happy to hear that. Um, I think they'll, uh, they'll get a new artist nomination in a couple of years here. And they'll probably be able to take one home then. But it's just good to see that they got nominated. Um... Best collaboration. Now, I really want Boy is a Liar to win because that's just my favorite song mm-hmm. um, on this list, at least. None of these other ones. I mean, you got Creeping with Metro Boomin'. 
Wait you got you, fuck nigga free with Glorilla. I just don't think it's happening. Glorilla Kodak nominated Black twice. got nominated? When's the last time Kodak Black made a song? I haven't heard about Kodak in a minute. He just released an album last week, I think. Man, that shit did t- toilet paper. How did I not hear about that album? Kodak Black has stands, bro. He's probably charting. We just, you just I feel like it's them it. South Florida dudes, bro. I swear I have a cousin. I don't know if he has them anymore. I haven't seen him in years. My dad said he used to have those like, them like, I forgot what do they call them big ass doodle knots? You know what I'm talking about? It's like those things that Bonsu Kodak has. Nuts? Oh, nah, you talking bro. about dreads? No, Kodak has like these like big ass like. It's like if I took a piece of my hair and like molded it and it just like with some gel. Oh, I don't it's, know. They're like these big thick ass dreads, but they're thick. They're like what about as them? Thick as like a water bottle. But I'm just saying like you know that's from they from Florida and a lot of people have that kind of hairstyle like that South Florida kind of thing. Oh. Those must be where his fans are. I swear. <laughs> in Florida. That's what I'm trying to say. That's his home state. Exactly. Yeah. It's probably that really a lot. Sense. Probably that neighborhood he's from and all that area. That whole part of that state probably fucks with him. I do think that um because Lotto is nominated in this category too. I do think that Lotto has a chance to sweep it up. Lotto has had a big year and people love Lotto. I can't like her for obvious reasons. I if y'all know, y'all know. Um, and it's not about the music. It's just about Lotto. Yeah. If you know, you know. But I specifically think the name and the, and the name. If you know, is you my know. problem. That's, <laughs> That's my problem. That's all I would say. That's all I would say. Uh, best female hip hop artist. This is gonna go to Lotto. Uh, I don't know about that, man. Let me read the let me read the nominees because uh, this is a really competitive category. We got Cardi B. We got Coyle Ray. We got Glorilla. We got Ice Spice. Lotto. Meg The Stallion and Nicki Minaj. This is a very competitive It's category. going to Ice Spice and let's stop the bullshit right now. Uh, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. But make the case. Uh, because she's the it girl right now. She, she's the, the, she's the quote unquote Princess Diana of rap. She is like an icon. This is her year. Cardi, you know what I mean? Like, like so you even, think they're going to try to play favorites? Or you think, I think they're, they're going to play favorites because that's what they do. Because if you're actually listening to the music and you're actually looking at the charts, you're actually looking at the numbers, you're actually looking at the appeal. Lotto had a bigger year than Ice Spice. Musically. Musically. I'm not talking about just like trending on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can get behind that then. If we're, looking just, if we're looking just after the music and the numbers, okay. Now, but there is a, I, that we're going to get to Best New Artist in a second. I think she has a potential to win there. I'll make my case for that one. Um, but all of these women had such big years, bro. Cardi B, who was quiet, mm-hmm. still is out here making music, making music. Bops, dog. I don't think she's gonna win it though. Coyler Ray out here making bops. Yeah, that song on Spider Verse she was on. That shit was heat. Her album too. The come up is up real. Love. The recent mm-hmm. singles that she's been putting out. The come up is real for Coyler Ray. I feel proud of her, even though I haven't really been fucking with her new music. She's just copying niggas. But that's just the wave of these new school niggas. Nicki Minaj out here. She's not gonna do nothing. Make the Stallion hasn't released no music, so they ain't. Let's move on to uh, to male hip hop artists. Who do you got here? Because uh, I'm gonna upset you with my take. Hold on, I gotta. I don't know I'm gonna how upset you... you with my take. I think Jack uh, Harlow is gonna take this one. I think it's gonna be Kendrick. I I can I could see Kendrick getting it. I could see Kendrick getting it. He had a good year. He had a good album. I just don't think they're gonna award Kendrick. I think they're gonna award Jack Harlow. If they award Jack Harlow at BET. I'm bitch. I'm finding somebody and gonna bitch slap the shit out of him. I swear <laughs> Why? to God. Because he's white. Yes, it's he's BET. A he's a it's rapper, B- though. You set you this did- precedent. BET gonna be nobody gonna be black on BET okay, in ten by years. That you logic, start this shit. By that logic, who else would you replace Jack Harlow with? By that logic, because you already got J Cole, you already got Future, you already got Drake, Twenty One Savage already on here. We already talked about Kendrick Lamar, and of course we got Lil Baby on here. Who else are you gonna put up there? Gunna been in jail. Qu- <laughs> Quavo Young Thug been on jail, but in jail. Quavo, you capping now, bro. You don't even know. You don't even know. Uh, Quavo, I think he put out a single. And then they put that Migos album out a few years ago. They ain't going, eh. You, if you're going to take Jack Harlow off the list, you got to put, I feel like deja vu right now. The same, <laughs> remember the last time we talked about Jack Harlow, yeah. but it got up our ass. If you want to take Jack Harlow off the list, you got to replace him with somebody. You going to put Lil Meech up there? You going to put Lil Dirk up there? Lil Dirk. You could put a little Dirk up there and say Jack boy. Harlow. That would make sense. Oh, young boy, you could do that. You could do that. That actually makes sense. You make a valid point. 
Let's skip this video of the year one because who gives a fuck about music videos anymore? Ain't no MTV no more. Nobody gave a fuck about no MTV. Let's go to best new artists because it's the one I want to make my point about I Spice with. You got a few artists on here like Coco Jones and Doce. Flo got another. Oh, so they did get a best new artist nomination. I'm glad. But you got some artists on here, Glorilla. You got some artists on here that um, I'm happy to see. I see Ice Spice here, and I'm saying that's the award that she should win. Let's stop. Yeah, let's stop right now. Ice Spice is sweeping the list. There's nothing to even talking about. There's nothing to even talking about. But if the Ice problem Spice here win, is that's robbery. The problem here is that they put Glorilla on this list, and if anybody Why is, is Coco kept up Jones with on here, Coco Jones been making music since the Disney days. This I is true. Correctly. It's because I think that some of these awards, bro, they just go based off of like who's relevant. And I think that they decided to put Coco Jones. The same reason why I'm about to talk about Glorilla. I think they put Glorilla and Coco Jones on there. Glorilla has been making music since 2019, dog. She hasn't been popular until recently, but she's been making music since That's 2019. That's probably what it is. People who pop to a certain level this year who haven't before gets considered to be a new artist. And that makes me think that they're going to give this award to, uh, to Glorilla. Because why else would they put her on here? Dude. Ice Spice has run circles on Glorilla in terms of clout this year. And it in terms of the music, in my to opinion, me. too. <laughs> it makes too much sense to me. It makes way- I, I could see it going to Glorilla, and I think it should go to, I mean, uh, Ice Spice, excuse me, but I think it's going go to uh, go to Glorilla. That's a tongue twister. Go to, uh, go to Glorilla. Let's go to album of the year. Again, we got Glorilla. Dude, they're putting Glorilla. She's going to take home one of these awards, maybe even a couple. They're putting Glorilla all over this. We got Chris Brown. We got DJ Khaled. We got Her Loss from Drake and 21 Savage. We got Mr. Morale and the Big Step with Kendrick Lamar. We got SOS with SZA. And then the, the obvious winner here is Beyonce. Any list with Beyonce is on, she's going to win. Unless, Dude, it's it, like, unless it's like Taylor Swift or like some other. You know, could you imagine if BET yeah. put Taylor Swift on one of these fucking awards? It'd be an outrage. She's winning. <laughs> That's the only way. There's very few people who are going to beat her. It, it, it's nothing to even talk about. Again, bro, SZA paired up with Beyonce in the same category. I feel so bad for her. This was supposed to be a year for... And I don't think that these the niggas don't even show up to the BET Awards, so I don't think it matters that much to her. But, of course, everybody would like to get the champ, you know? You'd like to get the chip. You'd like to take home the fucking the trophy. But when you're going up against a legend in Beyonce, I just don't think it's going to happen for you. And I'm sorry, SZA. But it just wasn't your year. Should have put out a better project. <laughs> but then we got movies. Black Panther, Creed 3. They got Will Smith playing a slave with Emancipation. They got Nope. They got The Woman King, Till, and Whitney Houston's uh, biopic. What you, you thinking? You know this was a, a dead-ass year if we have Till, a Till and Emancipation on the list. Not necessarily, bro. You have to think and about it. And Whitney Houston. That movie was trash. But Ellie, you have, you have to think about it. Like, these are black nominations. Name two other black uh, movies that came out this year that you would replace these ones with. That's a good point. <laughs> That's the only point to make. And so because of the lack of black film, you have to put movies like this on here. And Honestly, I didn't see either of these it's movies. It's going to be Creed 3 or Nope. It's probably going to be Nope. I would like to see Nope get it. It's definitely. Gonna I don't be, think nope they're going to give it to Nope though. I've seen almost every movie. I've seen Black Panther, Creed Three, Winnie Houston, Nope, The Woman King. I refuse to watch Till, and I refuse to watch Emancipation. <laughs> and I know they're trash. So, at all like intents and nope purposes, it. it's Black Panther, Creed, Winnie Houston, Nope, Woman King. If I had to make the case for it's Nope, it's going to be it would, Nope. It would only be because Kiki Palmer is in it, and he, she's having an outrageous year. She's having an outrageous year. That's, and she's nominated for Best Actress, I think, as well. That's the only reason why they would give it to Nope. But it's either gonna, for, to me, it's either going to be Creed or Black Panther. And I think Black Panther with the death of Chadwick Boseman, they're going to give that sympathy award. No, out. bro. That movie, was, that movie was cool, but it was not on Nope or Creed 3's level. I think they're going to give time to you know, people for people to celebrate. They're probably going to put his picture up there. They're probably going to have the people come up and give a dedication to Chadwick. I think that's probably what they're going to do. Disney will drop the... All I'm going to say, if that movie wins, Disney dropped the bag just for the publicity and get people on Disney+. Plus. Could be. And then we got Best Actor, Amin Joseph, Brian Tyree Henry, Damson Idris, that's the winner, Daniel Kaluuya, Lil Meech, Donald Glover, and Michael B. Jordan. It's going to be Brian Tyree Henry. He's had a 
a hell of a year, dude. He has had a hell of a He's year. He's been in so much stuff, you would not even believe it. I just learned yesterday he was the, he plays the dad in Spider Verse, like Miles' dad, the cop. That's I didn't him. know that. I was like, what? Yeah, he's he, been in Soul. He was in Bullet Train. Yep. I can't, it's, I can't even think. Like it's just been a, he's been in a lot of stuff. This Atlanta. Year. Yeah, he's in Atlanta. Which um, had two parts, I think. They have two. um Dam Sedidris here though. I think that he's gonna take it, dude. Snowfall is a Snowfall. huge show, and he's more of a relevant, like he's more of a household name than Brian Tyree Henry. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah, I definitely think he's more relevant in a certain sense than, than Brian Tyree Henry. But I think Brian Tyree in five years is gonna be beyond the household. He already is getting up there. I think he's gonna be a household in five years. Yeah. He was presenting at the Oscars last year. Yeah. Or maybe this year, I guess technically. And then we got Best Actress. I think we finished with this one. We got Angela Bassett, Coco Jones, Janelle James, Janelle Monet. Kiki Palmer, Violet Davis, and Zendaya. Why the fuck is Zendaya on this list? I have no idea. When's the Maybe. last... Everybody, everybody think. When's the last time that you saw Zendaya in a movie? Now I gotta go when, when, look, because I don't... When was, like, the last, when was the last season of Euphoria? There's nothing in 2023 that I can see that she was in. Well, it'd be 2022. Oh, this is for 2022? No, I don't see anything in 2022. When was the last season of Euphoria? Uh, 2019. That's what it says. When was Spider-Man? 2021 yeah i don't know why she's on this list they just needed to they just needed to put a a familiar face i suppose i think it's going to go to angela bassett i think they're really going to try to play into that uh black panther thing because she didn't get it at the grammys right at the oscars or oscars i mean not grammys or it could go to kiki i think i think they might i think think i think it's going to go to kiki viola woman king viola did acted her ass off a woman king you got to give her props on that one and she was in that michelle obama biopic people say that was trash though I'm sure it was. The acting did not look good. I've seen the yeah. clips. <laughs> but yeah, Viola, Kiki, I think Viola Woman King, Kiki, nope, Angela, um, Black Panther. Those are the ones competing. I couldn't really tell you who was going to win. I think they all did great, a great job. I couldn't really tell you who would win. I think Viola acted her ass off in Wing, Woman King. So Yeah. Have you seen it? No, I have not. Okay. I think it's on, is it on Netflix now? I don't know. It probably is. I think it, I think I have seen it on Netflix. Yeah. 